Hi, my name is Chad Elder with Race Place Chip Timing out of Minnesota. I'm just here to show you a quick little video of uh, innovative timing systems, disposable chips, and what they can go through. Uh, some of the scenarios you possibly could see in uh, running some events is maybe maybe the race is real in a bad part of town, and, and some of your contestants are get tracked down and, and, and get in a fight. So uh, just in case they do. I just want you to know that the, the chips can take a little bit of beating and still read. We got chip 190 and it read and uh, here in Minnesota we, during mosquito season we can see the st our state bird as they, as they say. Um, if you leave some of your chips out you know you might be seeing some holes in your in your chips. So they're pretty big birds here in Minnesota. So we'll just put a bunch of holes in it. Just to show you. Let's zoom in here to show you. Still reading. And last but not least, I'll stick the chip 190 to bib 190. It's the same chip. You see all the holes and how abused it is. We'll just put that on that bib. Roll it up. And let's put one last hole in it. a little string to it. Now this scenario you might see all across the country. Running in a, an event and uh, you might get chased by a dog. And just in case that dog jumps up and grabs your your bib and uh, just to let you know that that chip can handle Meh, meh, come here. Meh, meh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Just so you know, it can handle. <laughs> You're close to the finish line, you need to finish, but the dog won't give your tip back. <laughs> Is it still reading? Part of the chip is even missing. And it's still reading. And it's still reading. And that's just, we just wanted to show you that what abuse these things can take, even though they're disposable chips, they are more durable than you think. Thank you.